Well, hello there, boys and girls. Welcome to another vloggy vlog. As I uh, mount up my steed here in Dumbo, Dumbo, Brooklyn, good old neighborhood where time moves slow. Probably should take it easy because my fork is leaking oil. But, bah, forget all that shit. We are, oh, speed camera, watch out. Uh, we are done with work for the day. Uh, I had an early start, got everything done. I gotta get some plumbing finished. So I kind of dipped out a minute or two earlier to uh, continue on. Uh, so now I'm going to Home Depot, which is uh, this, you know, home improvement hardware store. Uh, that dog was going nuts, so I waved to it. Uh, anyway, so it's this ho home improvement hardware store and I'm getting uh, some plumbing shit. Some plumbing supplies. Some pipes and some... Uh, drain or whatnot but in this vlog we're going to talk about attitude we're going to talk about attitude specifically my attitude you know what I mean can't exactly talk about uh, anybody else's attitude at this juncture can only talk about mine and mine is rotten mine is no bueno and we're gonna try to get to the bottom of it what it is what it is what is it wait is there a speed camera I don't think so hopefully uh, maybe kinda bro thanks thank you for not killing me Oh, right, I need gas. Shit, forgot all about that. All right, so we'll do that. We'll get some gas as well. We'll get some gas as well. It's all good. Uh, what is the root of my attitude? What is the root? Mm, probably, ooh, smells like major weeds over here. Major, major weeds. What's going on here, Bobcat man? Uh, probably the major root of my attitude is impatience and selfishness, you know? That's, that's, the, that's the root of it. Uh, and then we can break out from there. Uh, lack of respect. That's probably another, um, another aspect. Quite possibly. What else is there? What else? Uh, that's it. Vlog is over. Not much more to say. I do tell you, I'll, I'll tell you one thing though. Um, I had a Cuban sandwich for lunch. I don't know if you know what Cubano is. Cubano is essentially uh, this uh, sandwich with pernil. This like roasted pork, pork butt or whatever shoulder. And uh, ham, Swiss cheese some pickles ham with cheese, some pickles uh, mayo a few little things like that all delicious, all nutritious and uh, I housed it man, I freaking ate that baby up tell you what ate that baby up now I think there's a gas station over there. Let's see. Let me see. Can we find the gas station? Where to? Gas. Where are we? COE 359. 
Let's see. Hmm. No, we'll do that. We'll go to the one that's 359, no problem. No problem. Uh, okay, continuation. The sandwich. The sandwich changed my life because now, now I'm not hungry anymore, you know? Which is more important than you might wanna admit. more important than you might want to admit although this beamer though is more scared than I am holy shit bro yeah we're gonna pull up on you we're definitely not doing that uh, too slow too slow I'm not I'm not prepared I'm not prepared this is gonna be another one of those ramble vlogs I thought I had a solid topic about attitude and my attitude is so shitty that I don't even want to do a vlog anymore how's that for bad bad tood bad tutelage this is my old neighborhood I used to live around here to the right there um, the gas stop right there and uh, yeah, I used to ride around here. Wait, Emerson? Yeah, yeah, right there on those things. I think there's a gas station at the end here. I might just pop off and fill up right there. No need to uh, experiment. Interesting. I thought there was a gas station where I thought I bought detained, detained. So yeah, I used to literally uh, live like two blocks that way on Merlin Broadway with my ex lady. She had an apartment, a little brownstone apartment, Fort Green. For like five years we lived there. No, I think we lived together for three and a half years. Moved in together after like three months, four months. And we actually wrote a, a list of rules before we moved in together. Like a list of like 10 rules to live together. And number one rule was no breaking up. I wonder if I still have that piece of paper somewhere. That would be funny. But yeah, I literally said no breaking up. And the funniest thing is, is when uh, she dumped my ass, I was like, yo, bro, we signed a piece of paper that said no breaking up. And uh, she was like, she was like, what? Oh, there it is. So that contract wasn't worth the paper it was written on. Probably what? Which is okay. Can't win them all, right? Really don't want to talk to anybody. Tomorrow morning I gotta adjust my chain. That should be fun. Yeah, I kind of forgot where all the gas stations are around here, so can't exactly uh, can't exactly help myself. But even if there were, if I run out of gas, I'm only like a strong push away from the gas station of some sort somewhere. You know, not too concerning. But I am gonna have to get some plumbing done as soon as I get home. Because after that, I gotta take care of some other shit. At least it's super warm. At least I'm not cold. Because sometimes you're dealing with all this shit and it's freezing on top of it. Not cool, man. Not cool.
there's a gas station. We'll grab it. Might as well. Might as well just grab it. As long as I can... Bedford. There we go. There we go. This is good enough. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a minute, okay? I gotta fill up. Or maybe I'll talk to you while I'm filling up. Either way, it's like, whatever. Not a big enchilada, no matter what. Haven't gotten gas in a minute. Haven't been riding this much. All right, here we go. There we go. Approved. 93. Four dollars, ten cents. Fuck it. Only the best from a baby. <coughs> How much money? Probably gonna be about ten bucks. Right? Give or take. Ooh, a little more. Ooh. I don't normally fill up my bike for freaking twelve dollars. Thirteen dollars, Jesus Christ! That's like a freaking record right there. All right, well, it happens. Why is there a voicemail? Oh God, spam! All right, where we go? There we are. Are we recording still? Glorious. All right, so. Just reset my gas. How much gas? Interesting. I wonder why. Why? I wonder when my gas light came on after 75 miles. Who knows? Who fucking knows? Perhaps I didn't fill it up all the way. Anywho, we are here. We made it to Home Depot. So, it's all good. We did it. Look at that pink caddy. Cute. All right, I'm going to pop into Home Depot, take care of a couple of tank tanks, and then uh, continue on with my life. All right, bro. You're going to have to get in there. Bruh. Depot it is. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.